Hey guys, welcome to Ride VIP, the Ride Your Channel. My name is Serge, and in today's video, I want to show you my setup in the Tesla for doing Uber driving and stuff like that. I'm trying out something new, and also I've realized I'm not making much more money than I am uh, with my BMW. It's about the same or less. Um, mainly, all the rides are Uber X. If I'm available, just simply for Uber Green and Uber. Um, comfort yesterday i've been waiting two hours just to get a single uh, comfort ride today i've been waiting hour and a half and i couldn't take it anymore so i put uber uber x back and of course uber x pays like uber x and uh if you guys have seen my videos i've been getting pretty terrible offers that has not changed for the tesla it's exactly the same offers but anyways with that being said let me show you my setup kind of like how i sort of have things and um and i'll tell you a little bit about it well, obviously this is a Tesla Model 3. Um, I have a ma magnetic holder for my iPhone and I could uh, quickly magnetically install it. Over here, I installed my iPad Pro and of course, this is the, the Tesla screen. Um, you might be wondering why so many screens. As you could tell, that's an Uber app uh, open on an iPad. Now, I think it is a little bit too big. Uh, probably it would be worth it if that's, this was just an, a phone, but I also use it for like listening to music and other things uh, if I'm using my phone to do like Ubering. But I'm kind of thinking like this, in a daytime, I could uh, just select a ride. I don't have to like do any tapping. Now, if I have to reach over over there, that's kind of far to reach over and like hit like uh, go or accept any rides. So what I'm gonna do instead, uh, because this is a Tesla and I want to maximize my uh, earnings when it comes to comfort. Um, right now I'm not I'm not online, but I go here and uh, as you can see right now everything's selected because I'm, I need a like a ride, right? But as soon as I get one, I'm going to remove Uber X and I'm just going to have comfort. If a comfort ride does come in, great. If it doesn't, fine. You know, I'm not going to have anything. That means... Uh, when I deliver that person, I'm going to turn on UberX and then get something else. So I don't have to be constantly reaching over and tap on my screen. That's a lot of dangerous to begin with uh, with an iPhone. But trying to reach over to the uh, iPad, some people might think it's dangerous, even though Tesla has autopilot. Now, with that type of setup, I was thinking what's going to be uh, a best way for me to install an iPad and to listen to some music because Tesla does not have premium connectivity um you're actually supposed to subscribe to it so this particular model did not come with premium connectivity um it's not even signed in and i tried to give it internet no luck i could probably listen to podcasts though like in the news by giving myself a wi-fi wi -fi signal but so far it's, i've been listening to the radio and that's been okay but on my ipad i could just simply you know go to youtube and actually watch something and more most likely like listen to something a similar style of videos like mine uh, you don't have to really look at the screen you could just listen to whatever somebody's saying and uh, that overall will work out mainly i would do that uh, only if uh, i'm on the way to the writer or i'm you know sitting but with a writer inside uh, i would just have a you know displaying an uber screen and uh, where i'm going so i could actually see everything like really good despite where the ipad is but what this does allow me to do is record videos like this while I'm actually driving. So the Uber app would be running on the iPad and I'm driving somewhere and I could make a video uh, with you guys and, and show you kind of like what's going on and, and, and whatnot. So I think that's going to be very convenient. Plus, I'm editing and posting all the videos with my phone. Okay, that out of the way. I want to show you guys um, my setup when it comes to sleeping arrangements um i just got some stuff at walmart and i want to show you guys um what i got hey guys this is day one of living in a tesla let me show you what i got first of all we got this beautiful midnight blue tesla and it is a dual motor and of course you know you could uh you could sleep in it um you could fold down the seats um and you could basically sleep in it. Basically, there's camping mode. And the beauty about sleeping in this car, no emissions. You simply use battery to sleep. So that's a, your hotel. So the cost of renting a Tesla is kind of like you're spending a night in a hotel. But you can make money. So you want to always make sure you get quality stuff when you're sleeping because you don't want to wake up with a kink neck just because you decide to save on a pillow. So this is a $40 pillow. 
which is surprised is that cheap because my last pillow is like about 60 bucks um i did get the best uh type of uh, pillow casing for it this is allergies you don't have to get that it's not that i have allergies well i do but i'm saying like you know good quality cotton stuff works best and then i bought a, a cotton quilt which is seventy dollars forty dollars and that's ten dollars so all this will make my life easier so as you can see my pillow is now inside of the back here the cool thing is i could always move it to the front i could leave it in the front seat it's not in the way cool thing is uh the tesla has a trunk and a trunk this is a king size um cotton quilt at the bottom it's a foldable type of a styrofoam so it folds out to a perfect size to fit over there kind of like in a square you know uh so perfect so when you play the pillow the rest of it, it's like styrofoam and you can put that quilt down on the top of the styrofoam and then use it to fold over yourself and then basically sleep like a baby and over here we have a tesla charger we got some drinks then i got a frunk which i can't show you and i'm kind of setting things up right now as we speak um so we're gonna pop this thing open so over here got my gadgets for making videos um i got a gym bag leftover most food and then i got some energy drinks and uh water which will keep me uh busy so i mean a lot of space plenty of water back there so you have to kind of like disassemble the water bag but hey you could put a gym bag with your towel and everything else uh, all the necessities and accessories so i did get quite a few other things uh let me show you what i got because it is kind of important i use magnetic uh phone holders you don't have to as you can see i got one back there but i'm trying to set up an ipad as well um here i got a usb to usb uh type c so that's for my ipad pro there's the usb type c uh ports in the back this is for my customers as for me here's a charger right here this will uh charge my phone very fast 37 watt type of charger which is good uh of course you gotta have some gel and you gotta have some headache medicine because you're gonna need it this job is a headache um especially when you don't make the proper money you have to pay for the tesla the next uh, week but anyways here's the receipt what i paid for the stuff 72 dollars just for this stuff so all in all I just spent 200 bucks just getting ready uh, by the way the rubber mats i installed them they're mine um i ordered them directly from tesla like 250 bucks but anyways i'm gonna get going hey guys i just wanted to show you how i'm sleeping inside of the tesla i just completed half of the shift uh seven hours and uh i'm just basically laying down like this and the car is actually charging so i'm using that opportunity to actually do some sleeping as you can see i got um a view of a tesla charging uh place but basically put my legs inside of the trunk area and fold the seats down and i'm laying down over here comfortably like i'm in a hotel room or something you know so it's kind of cool you could camp and camp in these things so anyways guys that's it for now yep and that was me uh sleeping uh last night um i had to basically go to sleep because obviously if you guys been watching my channel you already know i live one hour away and i'm getting ready to order me something uh let's see So, yeah, guys, I had something to eat, and um, last, what I was explaining to y'all is that I um, was sleeping inside of my car. So, here's some of the things that, in case you're wondering, it's important to kind of, like, point out. Uh, it's the deal with the, with the whole charging ordeal. So, when I rented a Tesla, it had, like, no charge whatsoever. So, I rented it at 11 by the time they did all the shenanigans it was already 12 and by the time i actually got the car it was past 12 and i had to put things in my car and set things up a little bit you know switch it up and you guys seen that video and then um i drove to our charging station which, which was i think like 40 minutes away and then i spent one hour to get the tesla charge so if you think about it by the time it was 2 p.m i finally had the car charged then I got a charge and I realized 
this charge is not gonna last me that long. Um, tops, I could drive six to seven hours and I was right. So I drove for seven hours and, um, and like 36 minutes. That being said, um, I started work about three and then I worked all the way till like midnight. And then I came to the charging stations pretty late. And I'm like, well, I gotta, I gotta get this thing charged again. So I put on the charger, I wasted another hour. This time, I didn't, it didn't take me that far to drive to the charging station because I chose where my last passenger I delivered, they were kind of close, like five miles away from the charging station. So I just drove there. So there was no big deal. But that meant I wasted another hour and now it's midnight. Good thing I thought of he ahead of time and I bought myself a pillow and a blanket so that I could actually get some sleep inside. Because while I was charging, I was already tired because I was already dealing on three hours of sleep. Today I'm dealing about seven hours of sleep. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna put this Tesla on the charger, plus I needed updating. So it will not update while it's charging, unfortunately. Like you would think it should, but it, it won't. So I put the Tesla on the charge. It said it was gonna take one hour. So I set the alarm clock to wake me up in one hour when it's done charging because you don't want to sleep at the charging station and not wake up it's going to charge you probably like a dollar a minute or something i'm not sure what they charge you but they're going to charge you for sitting there so i don't want to be charged so i woke up but the thing is it still said like eight more minutes to charge so um but it did say 50 minutes so i set it for 50 but it said eight minutes but i know it takes one hour to charge they're always kind of like eh, estimating so I tried to sleep best I can. I set up my uh, my place to sleep, and actually I dozed off maybe for 30 minutes. At first, it's kind of hard to fall asleep. That whole day, I did not have any energy drinks, any coffee, because I knew I only slept three three hours. I did not want to uh, have the energy drinks or coffee messed that up for me. And still today, I did not drink any coffee or energy. Still, I did not do that. I charged the car up obviously till slightly over 300 miles last night. Then I, after I charged up the car, I'm thinking, okay, now I need to finish sleeping because it's already late. I'm thinking like at night, I can take some people around, but not that many. So I'm thinking, look, I'm just gonna sleep. I'm just gonna sleep at this hotel. I was at the hotel anyway. So I slept at the hotel and I woke up at seven in the morning. And uh, I'm like, okay, it's time to get up now. I got, I got to work because uh, it's a good idea to start work at at least like 6 a.m. But anyways, I woke up at seven, and then I went and I got some breakfast at the hotel, even though I'm not staying there. <laughs> Which is, hey, I'm charging there. I'm paying them the money, right? Paying them like twenty-two dollars a pop. So already that means I spent nearly. Well, this time the charging was less because it was like. It was less expensive than the first time, but it doesn't matter. The first time it cost me almost $22. The second time, uh, um, let me see what the, what it cost me. Cause it will tell me $14 and 56 cents. But my car had like 80 miles left when I brought it to the charger. Right now it has 123 miles left. So now, you know, after I slept and everything, I already done all this driving. So I used up, I used up. 180 miles 180 miles of the tesla i only made 99 dollars and 88 cents this is kind of like some of the things i want to point out to you guys so my shift has been already slightly over six hours today so according to the average i make it very similar to what i did yesterday so yesterday in seven hours and 36 minutes i made 136 dollars right now I'm, I made 99.88, slightly over six hours. That is not good. Not for renting a Tesla. And also you gotta take charging out of that that I've done, you know. And again, I'll need to go on a Tesla supercharger in about another 40 miles or so. I'm gonna have to start looking. After 100 miles, you need to start looking. It's pretty much called like range anxiety, but some of these trips sometimes like 40 miles long. So 
And I said bunch of no's too, but guys, say no when you have to pay uh, rent for the car. It's a lot different than say no when you don't have to pay nothing. I'll tell you that much. It feels different. It's a little bit more, I'm not gonna say stressful, maybe a little bit more hectic because I would say no, uh, and then I'm still not getting anything. So, okay, sucks, so, so be it. So, what I wanna say is, again, uh, why did I not go home? I did not go home because I already lost two hours for Tesla charging. So I just slept in the car. So I could have, if I had my BMW, I could have just simply went home one hour to work, one hour home. But instead I had to sleep in a Tesla. Speaking of the BMW guys, the lights are a whole lot brighter in the BMW. I cannot even see myself when making a video in the BMW. When I turn these lights on, I could actually see myself, uh, but this looks like an old school video. But anyways, guys, it is dark again. I did charge up a Tesla uh, once again. Uh, this time it cost me $22.20. So, so far I spent almost $22, almost $15 and $22. And that is basically yesterday me working seven hours and 30 minutes and today nine plus hours. And I've provided screenshots in this video. <clears throat> now, I was planning to give you guys the whole breakdown of uh, what I made and stuff like that and uh, go over through some of that stuff. But I'm gonna do that in the next video because this video is a little bit already too long, uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.